Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we have a question on the board. The question reads, solve for all roots. If x to the power of 17 equal to 1. Now, many looking at this expression, you discover that we are being asked to solve for 17 roots to this expression that will satisfy the equation. Why? Because the power of our variable shows the number of roots that math problem we give to us. So how do we get the 17 um, a root to uh, this exponential challenge? In other words, we have to solve for both the re and the imaginary root to this challenge. So if you're new here, this is all I must TV where we learn mathematics all the time. So without much wasting of time, let's go straight to, to this challenge. So we take our selection. So we have x to the power of 17 equal to 1. Now, I've solved a similar problem of this kind, okay? And then um, I use almost same approach to solve this. The question is showing up here. Okay, you can watch that and see what I did there. Okay, now, from this expression we have in here now, you can easily tell that the first root is going to be 1. What of the remaining 16 roots? How do we get there? Okay, so from here, the number one thing or what we enable us to solve for all 16 other roots aside one is the Euler identity. Okay, you remember the Euler identity? Okay, from Euler identity, we have that um, your, okay, your, okay, e to the power of what? Your pi i, this is pi, please. Okay, pi i plus one equal to zero. So if I send this to this, this will give us e to the power of pi, okay, i equal to minus one. But look at what we have here. We are having a positive one. So all we need to do is to manipulate this place here to give us positive one. In that case, we have to consider the um, evil values for our expression here now. So for the equal value of our um pressure we're going to raise both sides of this equation to your 2n or we can say 2k okay so let's raise both sides to uh 2k so this will now give us e to the power of 2k pi i this is equal to we do same thing here too so this will now give us minus one to the power of what 2k if I separate these two from this k, this is going to give us minus 1 to the power of 2. And minus 1 to the power of 2 will give us what? 1. So we're going to have 1 to the power of k. So this is equal to 1 to the power of k. And 1 to the power of anything will give us what? 1. So automatically we now have your e to the power of 2k, the pi i, this is equal to what? 1. So we can substitute the whole of this in place of 1 here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have x to the power of 17. This is equal to your e to the power of 2k pi i. We have to make x the subject of the formula. How do we make x the subject of the formula? We multiply both exponents by 1 all over 17. Okay, so from here, let's take that. We have here x to the power of 17 or to the power of 1 all over 17. This is equal to i e to the power of 2 k pi i r to the power of what 1 all over 17. okay this this leaves the system so we we'll have your e this is equal to then you're going to have your e to the power of 2 k pi okay i all over 17. easy we are headed somewhere all right so if we have this what do we do next it is easy. We recall the Euler most beautiful equation. What does it say? It says that if you, um, okay, with your e to the power of theta i, this is equal to your curse, your theta my plus rather, your iota sine theta. Okay, so we can relate this to this expression here. We will have our theta as two, k pi all over 17. 
All right? Okay, so from here, we now have this now implies that x, which is equal to re to the power of, let's put this in bracket, 2k pi bracket all over 17 into your iota. Okay? Let's bracket this way into your iota. This is equal to, I want to bring in this now. So here we're going to have this to be the occurs. Where's our theta? We have 2 k pi all over 17, then plugs your iota sine r 2 k pi, all right, all over 17. Ah, okay. Now, with what we have in here now, so let's erase this, okay? So let's erase this and continue this side of the bird. All right, so from here, automatically, we now have in our x. So therefore, our x is equal to everything we have here. So we have your curse, your 2k, all right, pi, all of our 17, flux, your iota, sine, your 2k, pi, okay, all of our 17. Where our k is a set of what? numbers ranging from 0 to 16. Okay, so from here, we know that uh, we can say, okay, um, we have our k is equal to, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 2, 16. So all you just need to do is just to substitute here and get the value of what? Your x. So we we'll look for the first value, then use that same method to look for the rest values of your work. Okay. So from here, if we take our k equal to what? Zero. So we're going to have our x1. Okay. So let's say this implies our x1 is equal to what? K naught. Okay. So if we have our k naught, this is equal to your kx2 into our zero plus bracket times our pi all over 17. There, plugs your iota sine uh, 2 into 0, there, times uh, pi all over 7, 10. Of course, this will give us 0, this will give us 0, so we have our x1, this is equal to curse 0 degree, okay, plugs iota sine 0 degree. Easy. So this will give us what? 0. So, and this will give us what? 1. So we now have here, therefore, x1 is equal to 1. This is the first value to our x from this expression here now. So what do we do? We do that for k2, k3, k4, k5, and da, 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 da. Okay? So if we continue with this same pattern, so we're going to have our k1, which will be equivalent to your x2, K2 equivalent to, so we're going to have here our K2, all right, sorry, K1 rather. So let's start. We've done for K0, so we have K1, then is equal to K2, is equal, is equal to, then do that to K16. And that will give us X17. All right, so. I've given you the guidelines on how to solve for your 70 roots to this uh, simple challenge. All right, so this uh, brings us to the end of this simple challenge. If you like something for this video, give the video a thumbs up, and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section. It could be, thanks, Jay. Well done for what you're doing. Okay, bye. See you some other time.